Uh, last year, I set what is called the Hacker Space. It's a place for uh, geeks and nerds to play around. And uh, we organized an OpenWRT meeting uh, workshop where uh, Nico and some other people uh, from Templab came. And um, basically, I met a nice guy there who came with lots of hardware. And uh, uh, we went on the on the second market on the second market in, in Brussels, and we found out uh, lots of very cheap hardware uh, for five ten euros. And uh, that's how I came to buy uh, what is called the uh, Vega Compost Two. Um, so uh, we went at the end of the second market uh, at the end where everybody was pick, uh, packing up the stuff. And we, we bought like uh, uh, three Vagacom Box 1, uh, which has uh, voice over IP, and also one Vagacom Box 2. Um, basically, uh, DSL and, and cable is very widespread in Belgium. I think you have 95% to 99% of the population which is covered. And uh, the main provider is, uh, I would say, the, the, the main. Uh, uh, a DSL provider is uh, the Lacan, like to have France Telecom in France. And uh, they, they, right now, if you buy the, the package, uh, you either buy the VBOX 1 or the VBOX 2. Uh, the VBOX 2 has the advantage that it has a VDSL interface, which is much faster than the normal DSL. Um, so I opened one of these uh, Lacan Box 1 uh, devices. And it's basically, basically an uh, Infineon uh, system on chip, which is the uh, AR7, which is a well-known platform supported by OpenWRT. Uh, the problem with this device is that it has only two megabytes of flash, and uh, the, the, there's not enough space to really uh, put OpenWRT on it. Uh, you have to GTAC the whole thing and, and install a new bootloader. Uh, because the, the current one doesn't uh, uh, doesn't have enough doesn't leave enough space, um, so I dropped hacking around this device and I switched to the to the other one, the the, the uh, Bbox two, and basically it's a very big piece of uh, device, this big piece of plastic, and the company who designed this this uh, plastic box received an award. <laughs> basically, it's it's uh, three times thicker. Then you would design a normal box around the, the, the PCB, and uh, it's really ugly. Um, and you see it everywhere in Belgium. I went recently to a, a pizzeria, there were like two B box uh, sitting there. And uh, I went to my younger place, he has it. I had to another friend, he has it. I mean, everybody has this device. Um, so inside you have uh, quite a lot of uh, amount of flash and RAM. 64 megabytes and, and, uh, of RAM and 16 of flash. It has a 200 megahertz uh, VIPS 32 CPU, a VDSL2 module, which is some kind of board, another board you have on top of the, the main board. It has two voice over IP interface, <coughs> one USB2 uh, connector, one USB1 uh, slave interface, you can connect to a PC. A four-port switch, uh, one serial port inside, and wide, one uh, Wi-Fi access card. If you buy the pack, uh, I think the price of the device is included in your subscription. But I think you can buy it for uh, 90 euro, 80 euro at the better shop. But basically, I, I bought this one for like 10, 10, 15 euros the second, second month. Uh, you can also find them on, on eBay if you, yeah, for eBay in Belgium. Um, this is probably one of the most widespread Linux-based uh, devices in Belgium. Um, there is another very famous device which is uh, same and similar that uh, uh, a friend of mine uh, ported the Linux kernel to, which is also very widespread in, in Belgium and Netherlands. Um, there are statistics in some uh, in some press articles saying that there are 300,000 of those boxes deployed in Belgium. Uh, it's manufactured mainly by uh, Sagem, a uh, French company, and uh, this kind of hardware is very similar 
the boxes, you can find other countries such as the front with the orange light box too. Um, the scarlet box, which is another IP in Belgium. The Sajem Fast uh, 34, uh, 64. It's uh, basically one of the reference uh, design put uh, by Sajem, and which is mainly used when you have DDSL. Uh, one of the problem with DDSL, uh, as uh, it was mentioned by the uh, regulator of the telecommunication in, in Belgium, is that DDSL is not really interoperable. Uh, there is an IQ standard for it, but the uh, real implementation doesn't seem to, I mean, the products that are on the market doesn't respect. So the, the uh, problem of interoperability between the DSAM on one side and, 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 the, uh, and the device you actually have on the other side. Uh, there's also, I discovered recently, another box uh, by Telecom Italia in, uh, in Italy, the Alice Gate Voice of IP2+. <coughs> um, Telecom, Italia, Telecom Italia is giving uh, GPL source code on its website, but unfortunately this device is not, uh, they don't provide any trust for this device. Um, as you can see here, for example, there are two big condensators. Um, there is a wi mini PCI Wi-Fi card, there is the main processor, uh, the switch, there are separate for the, 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 uh, the device variety. There is a USB port on, on, on one side, and one interesting thing is that uh, when you have the case not open, you have only one, and when you open the case, there, there is basically a connector with two of them. <laughs> so, uh, uh, the, the, the CPU which is inside is a uh, mix flow and um, Lexha is, is a, a known company for people who know Realtek uh, device, FTL 8181 or 8186. Uh, those were very cheap routers um, based on the cloud of this and basically uh, the, the, the company who was uh, producing uh, producing the, the, the chips was sued by uh, was sued by Gibbs and to the point they get they had to to, to claim bankruptcy and there was they were there was uh, bought by uh, by this technology. Um, so the system on chip itself is uh, has uh, uh, for example SPI interface um, USB two USB one. Um, PCI bus, 